hole number five today, one of my favorite holes here at Black Sheep, and we're going to see if we can uh, talk about a ruling after I drive this ball down there. Hopefully in good position, but if not, we'll see what happens. And from the downline view, which is this view, let's take a look at that golf swing, the shallowing out that we talked about in our swing tip. So let's set up. I'm lined up at the far bunker using a hybrid. Okay, that ball was pulled off of the tee, so we're going to have to consider whether that ball is end up on the cart path, perhaps out of bounds. We'll find out when we get there and we'll see what the ruling is. Okay, on hole number five, indeed, I did drive the ball a little bit left, ending up on the cart path. Rule 16, that's abnormal ground conditions, in this case, immovable obstruction, the cart path. So I am entitled to relief. So the first thing the official is going to direct me to do is find the nearest point of available relief. Here it is. Soling the club, that's the reference point. That's the relief point right here. And it's from there that I'm going to get one club length up the hill, not closer to the hole, no nearer to the hole. There we go. If I wanted to use a driver, I could do so to go up the hill a little further. But that suffice for what I'm doing. Again, I'm going to get relief because my feet are on the path. I do not have to take relief. I can play it as it lies. And to be honest with you, that's looking pretty good. I might just go ahead and hit that one. But for the sake of the ruling, let's pick it up now. We found our nearest point of relief. You can see the flag top just over the top of the bunker here. And I'm going to be dropping from my kneecap approximately. So here it is. And the ball's in play.